Ryan Flowers with Mistock Geek here, and today we're going over the troubleshooting of the QCX Mini 20 meter radio. The problem, it won't align. I and Q go through uh, the I and Q chain, and the sidebands or the double sideband signals come together, and uh, half of the signals ca cancel each other out, leaving you with a sideband. Uh, instead of a double sideband, a single sideband. That cancellation is not happening and I'm just getting way too much signal throughout the entire chain, which is overwhelming the audio going into the microcontroller, which means you can't align it. I don't know why. So going through the troubleshooting guide, something that we should do is read the manual. Uh, I decided to get a list of all the reference voltages, which you see on the screen here. You'll see your uh, reference right here. So these are the reference voltages for IC5. Here's the measured voltages and there's the difference. So what I did is I set a conditional formatting in, in Google Sheets that said anything in the diff uh, column, if it's more than 0.5 or half a volt, make it red with white, with white text, red background, white text, simple. And so here's what I found. Now there are some other ones that are a bit higher, like by half a volt, um, but that's, I don't think half a volt is that big of a deal, especially when I'm using uh, my Innova 3320, which has a 10 K ohm input versus uh, hands. You actually use the QCX itself, which has a, a, a lower impedance input. So even in the, even in the troubleshooting guide, he says your measurements will be a little different. Uh, don't worry about it. So that, that half volt or just under half a volt, I'm writing off anything over half a volt. I'm taking a look at, and there's plenty of stuff over half a volt. Um, and you'll notice that it's all pins three and five, all the way up from IC6 through IC9, and then IC10, it's on pins five and six. But that's um, uh, IC7 right here, pins three and five, and IC6, pins three and five. Same position on the schematic, and I don't know what that means. Uh, same thing here too, uh, three and five on IC8 three and five on IC nine. This all points to a common cause. I just don't know what it would be. Um, I suspected voltage dividers. I checked all the voltage dividers. I even took uh, took off one of the, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, R54, no, R51, I think it was. Is it R51 or R52? I even removed it, uh, which is fiddly at best and checked it and it was 10 K ohms like it was supposed to be. So, not really sure what the problem is. This is where I need your input. If you have a guess, an idea, something to check, please let me know below. I also posted this in the um, uh, QRP Labs uh, group, which I will post a link to below if you want to take a look at it. And there's an ongoing discussion there, almost 150 uh, posts along in that thread. So um, anyway, um, we're approaching, we're just Coming up to four minutes here any moment if I don't keep this short, so I will keep this short. Uh, so I will also be posting about this when I'm done and I figure it out. I'll be posting about it at miss.geek.com. So uh, please go ahead and subscribe there too. I won't sell your email address. I won't spam you. You'll just get notifications of new posts. Uh, so that's it. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, again, let me know in your comments below what you think it might be, and I'll be, uh, I'll be looking for them. So thanks for watching 73 and we'll see you next time.